Hey guys, it's Martin Geek. In this video, I have a hands-on look and personal review of the Microsoft Launcher for Android devices. Now, keep in mind, this used to be called the Arrow Launcher, and Microsoft actually released the Arrow Launcher a long time ago, like almost three years ago, or maybe more. And I did a video a long time ago when it came out for Android, but now Microsoft decided to go ahead and change the name to Microsoft. So I'm revisiting this launcher, but with a new name, and let's see if it actually has some new changes as well so first of all when you open it up or install the application the launcher and you make it your default launcher um, this is what you're gonna get you get the uh, I actually got this wallpaper this is the wallpaper that I actually got but you might get a different wallpaper now all the wallpapers that you see on this phone are actually coming from the Bing search engine which um, Bing actually has a lot of awesome looking pictures uh, if you visited Bing before they do have a lot of beautiful pictures so you're gonna get a lot of awesome pictures from Bing um, in this launcher and it's going to add this um, search bar right there. And what I like about that search bar, which is makes it a little bit different from other um, search bars out there, is that it actually has a barcode scanner. That's awesome. It has a barcode scanner or QR code scanner. And it's cool, very convenient that it's actually right there. It also has this mic right there, which um, you can ask whatever you want. And it will start listening to you. And it will actually search it once you stop talking if you swipe down you can get to this page right here which is going to show you your frequent used apps and once you enter a letter it's going to actually show you guys all the applications with that letter i i really love that it also going to show you guys like a, a history i think this is actually like a history right there if you don't want to see your history this right here, what I really like is this right here that you see here, you can actually customize it as well. So if you don't want to see your history when you do this, you, you can customize that so you never see your history. You can also have phone numbers of people in your contacts visible here as well. Uh, right now, I turned it off because I don't want you guys to see the phone numbers of everybody. Now, another thing that I really like is that if when you swipe up, you have an extended um, dock right there which is awesome because it gives you another row of applications which is great because you can actually have your application that you really use a lot and you can have like your favorite application that you use for social networks and all that like i do right here i have all these applications on the top which are going to be visible by default and i go up like that you see all my social networks applications in the bottom you also get your dot your your switches here in the bottom you can change the brightness as well i see there you can change the brightness as well you got the wi-fi you got also the flashlight there and you got bluetooth you got the sound and you got this right here which is the data use uh but you can actually if you press and hold if you press and hold you can actually customize one for another you can for example i could go ahead and oops swipe up go ahead and press and hold and instead of that let me go ahead and put the gp uh the gps here instead oh no okay i already switched one so it's not gonna let me there you go there you go so there you have it so i can have my gps there instead and that's it you go like that and now you have your gps there available now over here what i like here is that it has a utility page the utility page actually shows you a lot of great information here like for example your frequent use apps It'll show you guys that if you click right there, it'll go ahead and extend, which actually looks pretty damn good. It also has like a new section as well, which is good because it refreshes a lot. Every time you open it, um, there's like a new uh, new news there and you can see what's going on there. You can actually tap right there and then go ahead and show more news or it refreshes. Um, you tap right there and it'll get a little bit larger. If you tap right here, it'll go ahead and open the news and you could go ahead and read about it as well. If you swipe to the sides, you could go ahead and see all the news there as well. I think this is coming from the MSM news section. I think it is because that logo is right there. So I think it is from MSM or from Bing. So once you're done with the news, you, of course, you could press the home button. It takes you back again. And over here, like you see there, um, it also shows you guys the recent. Um, this is like the recent pictures you've taken, the recent calls you've done, the recent clipboards, 
or anything like that calendar events um you can also place widgets here as well so if you want to use this utility page for widgets as well you could actually actually do that here too right now i have two widgets i have the device maintenance so if i want to optimize my phone i just tap right there and that's it it'll just optimize the phone and this is the device maintenance that actually comes with samsung phones so i just got i just added there to test it out and here i put the google one because with the google now google um search there i can actually go and access the you know google now page which is awesome as well and that's it so, but if you tap right there you could go ahead and here for example um hide stuff that you don't want to see there no more like for example if i don't want to see the the lot the calendar i could do that if i want to add some of these i can actually do that if i want to add a widget i could do that here as well so if i want to add for example the flipboard widget just click right there and look at that it adds the flipboard widget right there and when i add, tap there it opens flipboard just like that so honestly i really really like this utility page but like i said if you don't like this utility page you could turn it off as well that's a great thing about this launcher uh you can have as many pages as you want right now i only have two here i have this one right here for just widgets i got the this right here i got the magic home right there uh one widget that i really like that this application though this launcher actually comes with is the wallpaper bing widget if you tap on it it will automatically change wallpapers just like that and the wallpapers are uh, are brought from bing from the bing search and it's pretty damn cool i like the way it changes your wallpaper just like that so you could keep on going there and it will randomly keep on showing you new wallpapers and it looks pretty damn awesome look at that that looks pretty damn awesome so go, let's go and leave it there another way to do it as well is right here there's a bing logo if you tap right there you can actually switch between the wallpapers that you have used already on your phone so there it goes so you could go there and if you like one of them you could go ahead and tap it and it'll go ahead and set it as your wallpaper and that's it that's pretty damn awesome so another thing you can actually do here let's say you want to go to settings uh settings you're gonna see it right there um here of course you got set arrow as your default launcher so you see here they still haven't changed this set arrow as your default launcher when it's actually called uh, Microsoft it used to be called arrow but now it still says arrow right there uh, you can also link your Microsoft accounts so that's good because that way it makes it easier to access your calendar your notes your OneDrive and all that customization is right here this is what I really like about this application it lets you customize your apps um, here you got the icon sizes there you go you can make it really small right now i leave it in default you could go ahead and control your grids as well so here four by five or five by five i leave it at five by five that's how i like it icon packs now you got system and plus here you got a list of all the icon packs i have installed so if you have icon packs installed you're gonna see all your icon packs right there if you don't have icon packs you're just gonna see your system and uh that's it you, that's all you're gonna see there's no oh you can see your system and you can see your arrow launcher applicate um icons that's it i really like this one the sign sunrise icon pack there you go and, and you can see i like it because you can actually see the changes right away uh, right before you even decide to go ahead and apply it which is good that's something that i really really like but let's go and go with the sunrise that's the one i really like there and once you're done just click done it will automatically see there it will reboot the launcher there you go and there you have it now you have the new icons right there look at that that looks pretty damn awesome that looks pretty sweet and let's go back over here to settings and back here to customization here there's a couple things you can actually do like hide the names for the folders uh you could go vertical scrolling key page header so you could change that keep status bar right here if you tap on that it will automatically um you will uh, it will automatically hide the status bar right there like see there but honestly i like to see it so leave it there uh notification badges if you 
leave this enabled you're gonna see notification badges on applications uh, like for example email messages YouTube app all that lock desktop I like to use that that way nobody can uh, mess up with the arrangement that I have on my desktop or you don't accidentally switch like applications that happens to me a lot so I could go ahead and lock it right there and another thing here if your phone is actually lagging while you're running this launcher Go ahead and do this. Turn the high performance mode on because what it does, it just turns off all the special effects and all that, but it still looks good. So some effects like opening applications, all that, it will be disappeared, but it's going to make your phone a lot more faster. So if you're having problems with your phone, uh, with this application being, you know, um, a little bit buggy, go ahead and you know turn the performance mode on right now i'll just leave it off because it actually runs perfectly good on the galaxy s8 and that's it so here you got utility page which is the page that has all the information the you know like the news and all that you if you don't like it you could just click right there it will turn it off so you won't have to see it ever again but honestly i like it the background you could change from white to transparent Honestly, I like the white. It looks pretty damn awesome. You got display content. Here are all the things you can actually display there. So if I don't want to see my clipboards, go ahead and put right there. If I don't want to see documents, go ahead and click right there. And that's it. You're not going to see those things right there. You got news interest. So this is where you're going to control the, the type of news you receive. I like entertainment, sports politics technology and auto but you could go ahead and turn these other things as well if you don't like uh like, if you don't like like politics you could just turn one off and that's it you won't get news for politics uh news markets uh set default sms right now i have uh, the google messenger or the messages app but you could go ahead and switch to whatever sms app you want uh, default dialer Right now, I have the contacts, but you can switch to any one you have. Uh, tap avatar to call. So if I tap right there, when I see a avatar for one of my people or contacts, tap on the icons and it will automatically make the call. Show us uh, SMS review and that's it. Um, here you got gestures. If you swipe up, it will extend the dock. So make sure you have that enabled. It's going to be enabled by default, but if you turn that off, it will automatically like see there it will automatically turn this off so honestly i wouldn't do that keep in mind when you do that and you disappear the dock the extended dock is going to be hard to find the settings so what i had to do right now is look for application manager and tap right here and i now have access to the settings so make sure you turn that on so you're gonna have uh, settings for the arrow launcher or the microsoft launcher a lot faster so here you got swipe down if you swipe down by default it's going to show you guys the local searches that's really what i want uh, or you could go ahead and get expanded notification center i really like that so i leave it like that double tap the screen to lock that's if you want that. Honestly, I just don't like it. So I leave it like that. Uh, let's see what else you got. Search. Uh, here in search, this is where you're going to change from Bing to Google or Yahoo. Right now, I chose Google. But by default, is actually going to be on Bing. Default launcher, you could change it right here. So you could use whatever launcher um, browser you want. Copy to clipboard. Always show, show search bar. So if you don't like the search bar that I was showing you, you could just go ahead and click right there and it will disappear the search bar. So you're not going to get the search bar with the barcode scanner, which actually is pretty damn good. I leave it there and that's it. Here you got search filters. This is where you're actually going to uh, control all the things that are going to be visible when you hit the search. Uh, for example, if I want reminders, document, arrow settings, all that, I could just have all that visible right there. And here, delete search history, and that's it. And that's it here. This is where you're going to actually back up everything that you, all the changes that you've done to this launcher and on the way the applications are are arranged this is what you're going to back up just click right there and back up right now right there is set for um cloud and like you see there it saves everything and back up now hit back up and it'll go ahead and generate everything and back it up right now i think it's not going to back up because i don't think i have see i don't think i have the the let's go and choose backup default only the device 
but you actually if they're backup successful but you can actually do it to the cloud if you're actually signed into your i think it's OneDrive or something like that and that's it over here you could change your wallpaper there if you want but you can do that here as well you could tap and hold right there and access your wallpaper section right here you get a feedback app launcher oh you know what i totally forgot you can actually access the arrow settings right here so guys that's it for this video i just want to share with you guys how this um launcher works which i like i said it used to be called the arrow launcher now it's called the microsoft launcher and it looks pretty damn good it, it works pretty good i like it because it, it makes everything look really really simple but it adds a lot of cool features that you won't get like on pure android so honestly i recommend to try it out this launcher one of my favorite launchers ev launcher and i think this is a very good contender for ev launcher i've been using this one already for um uh, more than a week already and so far i've been liking it um especially because of this right here and the extended dock i really really like it and everything else feels really fast and really smooth so thanks for watching the video this was a look and hands-on review of the microsoft launcher for android devices till next time guys